Wilson. Cheesesteak style. That's what we're calling it now. The three-team ladder match presented by Pat's King of Steaks. One of our other great sponsors here tonight. I had one earlier. They were delicious. Today was the best. What's next? I'm best. World I famous. My best for if you want to talk about being world famous. Well, maybe uh, infamous is perhaps a, a better hey, word. Hey, hey. Couple of big debuts here. And they are vibing on the way to the ring. Riding a uh, chorus of discontent here. Well, leading the way, that is real one. Following him is the Denim Dragon, star boy Charlie, just won the West Coast Cup. He won four matches in one night this last week, Matt. And then Jack Cartwheel, who last night was also in that great main event in Arena Mexico with Mike Bailey that we talked about in El Rio right. Del Bikino. Quite a uh, cavalcade of characters. Star boy Charlie! And real one who's made his way talking, talking, talking around the world. It looks like he wants to say a word or two here tonight. Uh oh. Big surprise if you know this man. We didn't have to give him the microphone. I mean, what? I'm going to sing my song. It won't take long. We're going to do the twist, and it goes like this. I'm about to twist on New Japan and smoke it like a blunt. Don't do that. When I'm done here, there ain't gonna be nothing but a bunch of roaches in the back. Because everybody knows. I'm Smack Talker Skywalker, and I got a mic saber for a hater, and I have already proven that bullets ain't no match for a microphone lightsaber. Bullet Club, dog. Bullet Club, try Blood Club. You got 20 dudes swapping spit on one blood. You know why? Because ain't nobody want no smoke with OG Zone. Because everybody knows I'm the best of all time. I'm the boat and everybody knows I got a huge deck. I got a huge deck. And let me just say, if you jumped off my deck, if you hopped off my deck, and you can't swim, I'll throw you a barbell before I throw you a life raft. Because and there ain't nobody better than OG So. How you do? Supreme confidence coming from Real One ahead of his debut here in New Japan. Never, uh, never at a loss for words, but his opponents here tonight may have a thing or two or a fist or two to respond to everything that just came out of the mouth of Real One. Well, I just want to take a moment too to shout out Starboy Charlie and Jack Cartwheel. Although they, they seem to be going along with the, the general Real One vibe, they are doing incredibly impressive. Young competitors, I'm very familiar with them. I'm off and out on the West Coast. And I do have in hand, I will let you know, the Cartwheel count. Count the Cartwheel oh, oh, oh. too. Well, uh, here you see Taguchi on the left, one of the all-time great junior competitors. Of course, he was the 69th IWGP Junior Heavyweight Champion, and he and Wado were the 69th IWGP Junior Tag Team Champion. Nice. Believes in numerology. As, that's an amazing coincidence. You see tag team partner Rich Swan. Who, oh, Matt, you, I'm sure you will tell us quite a bit about. Oh, Here absolutely, Rich Swan. Shin Thank <laughs> you. 
or in his words, quote unquote, and I'm quoting him here. No more butt stuff, but we're seeing the, the swivel of the hips, the shaking of the booty beta. I think the funky weapon is, and there you see it, I think the funky well, weapon he, is back. He tried, he tried in the tournament, and it just didn't really, it didn't really work for him. You gotta stick with what you know. What? And what he knows is, what was it he said, butt stuff? Well, he's shaking those hips. Well, those were his words. And those I were his words. And I believe sometimes things can be lost in translation. And I, I find it very impressive he, Taguchi speaks. Well, let's just say I've heard a lot of people say uh, that phrase Well, it's Rich before. Swan and Real they can, One. They can always be convinced. Let's it put is, it that way. It is Rich Swan and Real One here. And Rich Swan would love nothing more than to score a pin over Real One. Real One's bona fides are, are certainly things that put him as a It's a guy line. who's talked himself both into and out of a lot of corners. I'll give it to you, you know, that his mouth has is, is, is made him a lot of money, but it's gotten him into a lot of trouble. So it's a little bit of that double-edged sword. I hope it plays into his favor here tonight. I mean, Rich we would Swan. be remiss if we didn't say that he is a two-time cruiserweight champion. I mean, he does True. have the accolades and he will remind you of that, I'm sure. Oh, we'll let everybody know. And he has a little bit of an amateur boxing background, too. The Fist of Fury can come out in the right situations. But right now, I mean, he's dealing with a former Impact World Champion in there. The guy has been to the top and back. Now sent down, getting a shoulder tackle there. It is real one tag into Jack Cartwheel. Vader, do you have the Cartwheel counter handy? I do. It is in hand right now. Jack Cartwheel, we're seeing him for the first time here in New Japan. An excitable lad. He wants to know. Jack Cartwheel looks like how I think I look when I look in the mirror. Well, do you want to see a Cartwheel? He just... Oh, oh there's one. Okay. See, I can Cartwheel, but I don't look... I don't have the physique. I don't have the... Maybe you should do more Cartwheel. Oh, wow, there you go. Off the ropes. Cartwheel, who, you know, Beta, you mentioned maybe. Whoa, that, that counts. Two. Yeah. I uh, mentioned maybe going along with the real one's antics, but showing some respect here with Rick Swan as they go toe to toe as Mr. All Night Long dropping Mr. Cartwheel. Well, and you want to be careful with that, too, because when you have someone with a big personality, oh, another one. like real one, you also have to keep in mind that this is your debut. That's right. And you don't want to. Let, ooh, one bad oh. apple, spoil the apple cart. The core strength, the balance of Jack Cartwheel. Look at this! Wow. Mark offense by Jack Cartwheel. Like a pommel horse, hooks the inside leg, too. Saw Jack Cartwheel live and in living color for the first time a couple of weeks ago on Ring of Honor television. He's really making his way firmly across the world. It's exciting to see this young talent. Ooh. Awesome to see him on a stage like this for a company as well respected as New Japan Pro Wrestling, as the legend himself, Taguchi, in the ring. The fans here in Philadelphia know him all the way across the globe. Oh, and Jack Cartwheel. Obviously now just that tempting. Is, that is not a curve. Oh, Taguchi. See, what I tell you, it don't take long. Don't take too much convincing. You know, I had the opportunity to go to, to Japan to call Independence Day over there. I got off the plane. I couldn't move my hips for days. I don't know how the flexibility came back so quickly for Taguchi after that. No longer under his own will here. Oh! <laughs> Give Jack Cartwheel a little bit of a rear view there. Curtis seeing the funky weapon. Yeah, calling a timeout. Well, he just needed a lot of momentum for that butt bomb there. And a tag made Jack Cartwheel. In comes Starboy Charlie. And for the first time in this matchup. Are we going to have to end uh -oh. up doing this? One strap. 
Two strap, the straps are down, the hips are swiveling. And that I, one had a little less respect oh, on it then. What, uh, where are we going uh, here? No. I'm the only one at this table not from Pennsylvania, so you guys tell me what the hell was it? <laughs> you think this is a Pennsylvania? You think the Gucci's I, I, from, I, the Gucci's from point. Japan? When in Rome, though, I guess. Well, the side feeling. headlock. Hey, I'm from Allentown. I love Philly sports teams, but we, we like our cheese cubes and Lebanon bologna up there. I don't know what goes on down here. Nice drop down. Oh, inverted atomic drop. Big drop kick. And start with Charlie. Hooks the inside leg, two. And that's signature offense there. Yeah, shooting star boy Charlie, if you will. Tag made to the DKC. DKC really trying to rebound and rebuild after the betrayal Whoa. from his friends, Clark Connors, the rest of the LA Dojo crew, now taking it to star boy Charlie. Connors, but Alex Coglin, who uh, spent a lot of time in that LA Dojo system with guys like Kevin Knight, like DKC. And now DKC letting the DK fire rain down, and Philly taking real one out on the outside. And DKC, oh, it's Taguchi, who might have to use the restroom off their own. Oh, oh no, double, double drop, drop kick. kick. Starboy and Jack Hartwheel clear in the runway. Here comes Charlie. And Charlie. Spicy Ooh, drop kick. Uh-oh. Oh. Wait, what is this? And we used to see the Briscoes do a variation of this, not upside down. Oh! <laughs> the athleticism of Jack Cartwheel. Special by Cartwheel, which I do count as a Cartwheel. There was one with I'll it. I'll take it. I'll yeah, take it. And here was. comes Rich Swan, the yeah. OG. Oh, lands right on his feet. Beautiful flip to the outside. Not done yet. Not done yet. Look out. Oh, Ooh. and it is real one connecting on Swan. And oh my goodness. This. Razor's at, look at the strength, one of the strongest junior heavyweights there are. And, oh, real one driving Swan's spine into that red corner post. Excuse me, the blue corner post adorned by the red robe. Spine and neck first into the steel. You got to wonder how Cartwheel and Charlie feel about that one. And, uh, a fine Philly feeling here for a real one. Well, this may go cover here one, two. This may go beyond the traditional New York Philadelphia rivalry at this point with real one in the Philadelphia crowd. Oh. And Starboy Charlie willing to take advantage. I mean, what else are you going to do? And quick tags made, finding some continuity. Our cartwheel, real one, and Starboy Charlie here. That's right. Hey, you want to win the match, especially everybody here making their New Japan debut on that team. And again, the strength of real one. He came ready to fight tonight, Matt. Oh, oh God. Driving the knees with the lung blower cover. Two. One still in it, but he is isolated in the wrong corner. And continuing that attack on the spine, on the back, on the neck. At least for a moment there. Shoulders to the midsection, tag made. Jack Cartwheel. Quick tags in and out. Smart strategy. Get another one here, get the counter ready. Whoa, there's one more. But he broke rule number one. That's don't turn your back on your opponent. Well, and Rich Swan now starting to fight his way over to his own corner. Looking to make the tag. Look out, back your screen there. Did Real it? one. Oh! oh! That leaping DDT. That one in those Cruiserweight Championships you talked about, Veda. Oh, and he is not the legal man at this point. It turns out that Real one maybe isn't in control of his team the way that he thought he was. But he's got Swan. He's looking for that razor's edge again in the corner. Looking to add. Swan in danger here. Escapes, oh, driving the skull of real one into the post. Now the way is clear. 
for Rich Swan to get a tag Three. to one of his partners on the other side of the ring. Four. Jack Cartwheel, legal man, though, back in. Oh, able to cut down Rich Swan. Swan was leaping across the ring. Cartwheel cut him off. Intercepted at the 50-yard line. And Cartwheel now also oh, takes out Taguchi, takes out DKC all alone Strategy. with Swan now. Going for the Cartwheel again. Swan, back flip, back kill one went home. And Swan finds it over the corner to Gucci tag. Oh, there it is. Flying Apple, and another, a real one. Building up some much needed momentum for his team here. Trevor Charlie got dumped to the outside. It's real one and Jack Cartwheel. Oh! Ring. Yeah, to Gucci. Here we go. Wow. Kick to the midsection, Starboy Charlie. Irish whip off the rope, springboard. Oh! He really, he really didn't hold too long to that no butt stuff promise, did he? The USA brought it out of him. If it works, it works. Hey, amen. No argument here. Sir Mix a lot looking on from somewhere because the Gucci's got back. Ooh! He's got all three of his opponents absolutely reeling. Well, maybe it's Cisco. He's got dumps like a truck. As to Gucci now with the cover, two. And, and, and let's be real, those are practical attacks, Veda. Every time you hit somebody with your glute, your neck snaps, your head is moving, your brain's rattling around your skull. Particularly when you're sandwiched in between the rope like that. Largest muscle in the body. Ooh. Also effective. Big suplex to Gucci, floating through. Stringing a couple of amigos here together in Philly. And to go, oh, looking for the inside cradle. Wait a minute. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Strength. Wow. Fisherman suplex. Looking for the cover here. Hooks the leg. Two, could it be? Ooh. He almost able to hit that third amigo. You see those boots there, a little shade of the former Black Tiger, Eddie Guerrero himself. Now Jack but Cartwheel Jack turns it around. Clutching the back of his neck, but I don't even see his partners. I think everyone is on the floor. It's Taguchi and Cartwheel isolated. Oh, wait, wait, wait. oh real so. one sending Taguchi out of the outside. But there's the KC looking to take out. Real one. Running cannonball there. Game on the tag. The Starboy Charlie in the ring. DKC. Has been made. Yeah, DKC getting to Gucci back in the ring. So there can be a tag. It's DKC and Starboy Charlie. And we are going to light things up. DK fire on Starboy Charlie. Oh, those relentless knife edge chops in the throat. Full Nelson out of the way. Wheelbarrow spin around. Snap mare. No. Wow. Straight Great on. assist. Good teamwork from the first time team oh. here. No way. What? Real DVD. DKC in big trouble now. Here comes Starboy. Whoa! A, a spinning, twisting tornado. And full twisting moonsault there. And real one. Big time frog splash. Almost hit the cheese sticks. Cover. One, two, and Taguchi. Great wherewithal in the nick of time. It's like Rex in effect. He's a rock shaker as Rich Swan with a swinging kick there. Cartwheel got caught to Gucci. Rich Swan, DKC. Now, oh, oh boy, do I love it when a plan comes together. Starboy Charlie totally isolated. And Swan, big back elbow, DKC. Here we go. Ooh. Keep it going, keep it going, momentum. <laughs> Don't stop a rocking. And the conductor, Taguchi. Oh, and the, the is this the Charleston? Do I have a and Taguchi, the, the head coach oh, of this the team. Force. Back elbow, the boot. And DKC sending, sent up and over. Wow. Charlie Charlie got, though. Yeah, Charlie gets caught. Here comes DKC. Oh! Sky splitter, yeah, that's right. one, two, 
And Whoa. Oh, no! Jack Cartwheel, shooting star press, breaking up the pin, but yeah. also landing on DKC. A little bit of offensive wow. defense. Yeah, our official Adam caught. He knew he might have been in danger, looked up. Perfect timing, too, from Jack Cartwheel. One second later, this match would have been over. What? Back handspring into the neck breaker. Beautifully done. And DKC, single leg kick there. Swing and a miss, Starboy Charlie. Oh, oh God! God! Poison Hurricane Rana. But it's Rich, Rich Swan. Got the cutter. Swan really feeling it now. Swan could be looking for that Phoenix Splash. Lands oh. on his feet. Oh! Takes down real one from the sky. Ooh. Fast and furious, it's this six-man tag. And Ooh. Charlie, back where we started. And Swan, second rope on the inside. Now, 450, cover, two, three. What a win! Rich Swan, DKC, and the funky weapon. I'm a little surprised to see DKC get DKC get in on the day. Yeah, I am not yeah. at all surprised to see Taguchi. And well, Rich Swan looks impressed. Rich Swan <laughs> and Taguchi is the tag team I never knew I wanted until today. Please let me see this more. Let me see it all night long. I kind of want to get in there. I please don't. don't. I, please. Unfortunately, Ian, you are tethered for the viewing to the audience by a headset. Well, I moved all the worm. Look at that. Lots I'm, of celebration to be going. At. Oh, oh, D, DKC. Okay. Kind of maybe like a, a frog. Uh, all right. There you go. Okay. Good Hold enough. On. Oh Hold yeah. On. Yeah. Here we go. This is a grueling match. Oh. And Taguchi, who left it all in the ring here tonight. Rich Swan getting the pinfall. Caterpillar situation. Yep. But even they become beautiful butterflies. And Shout out, though, real one, I will say, as well as Starboy Charlie, Jack Hartwheel, very, very impressive in their debuts. But it came down to the former Impact World Champion, Rich Swan, leading his team across the finish line. And these incredible teams, teams you never thought you'd see. Pairings, combos from athletes all across the world, all across the planet, and the spectrum here in professional wrestling. And we're gonna see plenty more of that as this night continues. New Japan Pro Wrestling is hosting two of its biggest shows ever. Presenting Windy City Ride on Friday, April 12th at the Wind Trust Arena in Chicago and Resurgence, May 11th at the Toyota Arena in Ontario, California. Don't miss your chance to see the stars of New Japan Pro Wrestling live. Tickets available at Ticketmaster. NJPW Academy at the LA Dojo. Looking to start your journey or add to your existing knowledge? NJPW Academy is the place to be. There's only one place to get New Japan strong, and that's the NJPW Academy. Head to NJPW1972.com for more information. I want you for NJPW Academy. All right, keep up the hard work, guys. Hey, Royce, where's this one going? Parts unknown. Tokon Shop Global. We ship worldwide. Why, buddy? You finished those Okada orders yet? Yeah, with the new Team Filthy shirt, Papi. Genius. Eso, mi gente. The stars of today and the legends of the past come together on your smartphone. NJPW Collection. 
pick up cards from special draft events. Use your collected cards to form your own faction or exchange them for limited edition special cards. Check in live from venues or remotely from home to get special tickets and items. Add all of New Japan Pro Wrestling to your collection now. NJPW Collection. But the action keeps rolling right here tonight too, guys. Get set for a little bit. Straight up tag team action. All right, I gotta be, I gotta be straight with you guys. I cannot wipe the smile off my face. Jordan Oliver is here. New Japan Pro Wrestling East West Express in the house. Nick Wade and Jordo, two of my absolute favorite people in all of wrestling, and I am so so pumped to see them here. And they can't hide their excitement, Veda. They told Matt and I earlier, while you were talking to some of the other athletes and competitors, that their bond and love for Japanese professional wrestling as teenagers brought them together and began their team in the first place. And they have formed quite a team there, the reigning GCW Tag Team. Well, and listen, guys, if we're talking about juniors, if we're talking about tag teams, if you have any doubt that the East West Express are legit, they won those GCW tag titles from the Motor City Machine Guns. Ever heard of them? Well, and you can't wipe the smile off of Jordan Oliver's face. Nick Wayne, who's recently been the target of the Mogul Embassy in AEW, that home invasion really shaking him to the core. But even something as tragic and as violent as that cannot wipe the smile off his face here tonight in the debut. got to show up and show out. This business stops for nobody. And business has picked up with the arrival of Mao. Coming to us all the way, we talk about all the companies represented. DDT Pro Wrestling shows its face here at the All-Star Junior Festival. DDT Pro Wrestling. Oh, the Michinoku Tornado, as you said that here for the DDT World is now in action tomorrow as part of Multiverse United. A new Japan debut for Mao. But in doing so, he gets the team with a bit of a new Japan Pro Wrestling legend in his own right. A dangerous man to anyone he's across the ring from. A man who the last couple times me and you, Ian, have called his matches has been trying to end the life of John Moxley, apparently. But Yeah, not just the career, but perhaps the life as well. El Desperado, the scars adorned on the chest, on the right side, on the right bicep, excuse me, the left bicep, hammer right. Those occurred in matches that either myself or Matt called together or separate. He and John Moxley Veda have used guitars, nail boards, panes of glass, light tubes, butcher knives, actual butcher cleavers. Oh, I know. I've called some Desperado death matches myself here on his U.S. tours. He's somebody who is just determined to experience every aspect of professional wrestling. And honestly, that is why I feel like this team between Desperado and Mao, it just works because Mao has a very, very similar mindset when it comes to professional wrestling. Shinny Ultimate's strongest side, Eddie Desperado! I do believe tonight nail boards are illegal. I believe his guitar is illegal. I believe the pipe he tried to hid, hide in the bouquet of roses would be illegal. Hopefully, this is a more scientific bout. Well, you have to imagine, as Veda alluded to, there wants to experience all aspects of pro wrestling. I think he has that hardcore, that violent style down to a T. He has more than enough experience there. He also wants to take his vast experience and impart it on some of the younger competitors in this business. Someone like Mao, who's the head of the explosive rise in his only couple of years wrestling, about five, six, seven years, something like that, but has already had a lot of success. He can maybe take that 
own that a little bit in a situation like this. Nick Wayne, who recently turned 18 years old, made an incredible debut on AEW television. Going to start things off with Desperado. And <laughs> if you told Nick Wayne even just a couple of months ago, maybe even years ago, that he'd be in a New Japan ring with Desperado. And a few weeks ago, I got to call Nick Wayne's first ever match in New York because he had just turned 18 like the week before. Wow. Other New York uh, ventures, he was not able to compete. On the card for the first time. That is where Nick Wayne is. And just think about he is just at the beginning. And to do some of the things he's done is absolutely incredible. And both him and Jordan Oliver, as you see here, matching tights, a well-established team on the independent scene and around the world. That's going to be their advantage in this one. They have that rapport. They have that teamwork. Mao and Desperado, this is a new venture for them. Nick Wayne and Jordan Oliver, as the Eastman's Express, they faced Mao before in a tag team outing. Of course, that was with Mao's partner, though, Speedball Mike Bailey, a little reunion of Moonlight Express, one or two nights only. But now it's Desperado in control. Wayne, got to get out of this. And Desperado, who, who teeters on that junior and heavyweight edge, certainly able to use his muscle, his power. That's right. Not only that, but again, He's the veteran in this matchup when it comes to experience. Certainly is. So that's it. All these young guys in professional wrestling, all three between Mao, Nick Wayne, and Jordan Oliver, but Desperado, he's going to control the pace of this matchup, if you ask me. Well, Wayne, 18 years old, Mao, 26. Jordan Oliver in his early to mid-20s as well. And Desperado, whose age is unknown. It is not a matter of public record. This is a here has been at it at this high level for the last 10, 11 years. And especially, again, just referring back to what we were seeing at the beginning of this matchup, the style of matches that he often will wrestle takes such a dramatic toll on the body, but yet Desperado keeps coming back for more. Yeah. He keeps going back to this cravat. Desperado was finally able to fight out, and Wayne cinches it on again. But, Ian, you mentioned this. You have to wonder the psychological as well as the physical toll on Nick Wayne after the past few weeks. Over here, here. two nice hammer lock slide there. Absolutely. I mean, anytime you're watching over your shoulder for Swerve or AR Fox or, or anyone Prince Nana chooses to send his way, you got to think that. Oh, 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 wait a minute. There's the veteran experience coming into play. A little do si do to step in, step out, and that'll break the hold. And of course, everything, everything people like Swerve have been doing to Nick Wayne. But on top of that, we talked about how much this moment, how much this opportunity means to Wayne and Oliver growing up loving Japanese style pro wrestling. You have to hope they rise to the moment and that the moment does not overcome them. It's a lot of pressure. Now we're getting our first look. And you're right about that. Nick Wayne was able to do a tour with DBT Pro Wrestling, speaking of now, and he it just really solidified his goal. And now Jordan Oliver. Yeah, Oliver is not afraid to be a little bit more aggressive. Oliver has the height and reach advantage of all competitors in this match, standing just a shade over 6'2". He's the East Coast Ace. He's the East and the East-West Express. And he's now right to the lockup. Now goes behind. And out of it, into the half Nelson. Nice snap mare. It is Oliver swinging out. Mao. Great. Great the heck of four period talk about Wayne and Oliver being those GCW Tag Team Champions. Mao is also multi-time Tag Team Champion in DDT as well. So lots of Tag Team title experience from everybody in this matchup. And gets the grip on the head scissors. Nice takeover there from Oliver. Irish whip, uh, and up and caught again. Oliver, beautiful. And wow, beautiful arm drag. And keeps Mao right where he wants it. Good control of Mao. So far, I, I gotta give it to Nick Wayne. I gotta give it to Jordan Oliver. They, they're holding their own here on this big, big opportunity. Like you said, there's a lot of jitters that come into a wrestling match like this, especially for an organization, a company you respect and admire as much as New Japan Pro Wrestling. 
Well, I think we have to give credit where credit's due, Faded, to the GCW exploits of Oliver and Wayne that have prepared them for this stage. GCW is not a company that should be overlooked right now. Yeah, they have had the opportunity to face some of the absolute best in the world, and they have taken full advantage of that to grow and to learn now as a team, but also as singles competitors. And now we're seeing some of that tag team cohesion right now. Here we go. And some big kicks. Shout out to the great Muda there on the hand signals. And the Irish whip. And wow. Oh. Double hip toss, back up, double kicks. There's and combination oh. offense. Oh. oh. We're now using Nick Wayne as a weapon and clearing the ring. Oh, and they have Mao in the corner. Ooh, big kick from Oliver. Hand oh. oh, Wayne oh. caught. Wayne caught by Desperado. It's Mao now off the rope. Out of the way, swing and a miss. Now Wayne was going for that handspring pulled out by Desperado. Mao then outmaneuvering Jordan Oliver. Springboard. No! Oh! And do not underestimate the absolute precision it takes to hit that springboard moonsault full and flush and not crash hard into the barricade in your own right. And, and there is something Two. that needs to be said about Mao. You know, we talk about people being brave, being Four. fearless. Mao, Five. what's the step above Six. fearless? He is ab absolutely anything he Seven. will do, and he says his head is completely empty. He does not care. I mean, yeah, that would have it to, to be fearless. I mean, would it? presuppose you understand the concept of nope. fear, but if that doesn't even exist for you, that's a whole nother level. Now Mao really soaking it in, letting Nick Wayne crawl back up to his feet. Now feeling very confident, oh. absorbing that chop from Wayne. Now both wrestlers wanting to oh. test each other. I think Wayne was expecting a chop. He said caught a... Uh, Got a palm to the jaw. Certainly did as Mal getting Wayne back to his feet. We've talked about how Wayne has been worse for the wear as of late. Up the ladder with the knee. And a big scoop and slam. And it's Mal up in the corner. Mal is, re he is really oh. taking in the crowd here in Philly. Oh, oh. shout out RVD. Two. That That's is no easy count. feat. Drop all the way from the top rope into the split legged moonsault. And quick tags made. Desperado back in here as Wayne just reaching out in agony and desperation, trying to find Jordan Oliver. But I don't know how much good Oliver would do right now as he's taken down once again by Desperado. Nick Wayne left in a bad place. Elbow to the back of the neck. And he's just absorbed so much damage over the last few weeks on national television. And that doesn't, that's compounded by the matches he's having on the Independence Veda. Hey, look at the Desperado grabbing oh. the, the official's attention here. Mao taking advantage on the outside. On the throw. Wayne able to slip it down to the chest before breaking out completely. Hopefully none of those meat juices dripped onto the floor. Oh, cover here. Two. You said it, not me, this time. Of course, the meat juice still to come in our big three-team right. ladder match. Ooh, and of course, our main event, Kevin Knight, Speedball Mike Bailey. The winner will be crowned the tournament winner of the All-Star USA Junior Festival 2023. Ooh. Desperado seems unimpressed by Nick Wayne, but that was a mistake because Nick Wayne is bringing it and gets stopped. That's what Desperado, there's a different oh. vibe when Desperado tags into this matchup. Goes to a much darker place, lateral press two. And, and not only that, there's, there's a confidence, there is a assuredness, there's a deliberateness about Desperado. Everything he does, that only can come with experience. And Oliver has had enough. Just this. using the high ground, the leverage on those punches. Kicks to the midsection, caught. Oh, oh, distraction punch. Doesn't have to be complicated, oh. but damn if it ain't effective. And Nick Wayne is, is almost breathless. You see the red face. Oh, 
Look at this teamwork. Wow. I don't know if I was quite expecting that. Gelling wow. very well here. And wow. Camel clutch into the drop kick. Cover two. Our referee gets there as fast as he could. Unfortunately for Desperado and for Mal, that double team move put the referee out of position. May have cost them the bout. The flip side of the coin, it almost won them the bout. So that's right. Two from Kika, 10 minutes have passed, 10 minutes. Desperado seemingly in no rush here, grinding down Nick Wayne, who has already endured so much punishment. And Veda, I want to call out something there. Wayne tried to push the hands from his mouth down to his chin. It may have put up more pressure, but it may have given him just enough breath to push up and hit these shots in the midsection. Nick Wayne, a little distance, but oh, wait, he caught the boot. Ooh, 360 kick. And Wayne catches Desperado. Oh, standing slice bread. Standing slice bread, but puts him in the neutral corner. He's reaching out for Oliver. This is a huge, huge opening for Nick Wayne here. It's not often you're going to get that much of an advantage over El Desperado. And Can he get the tag? Those long arms of Oliver here coming in handy as the tag is made. Got it! It's Jordan Oliver. House of Fire here. Irish whip reversed. Desperado, the hip toss slam. Keeping and the pace going, though, keeping the foot on the gas. Wow! Double handed chop taking down Desperado. This is all Jordan Oliver now. Now lining up the New Japan veteran. Boom! And a the acid kick there, maybe. Right upside the face. Courtesy of Jordan oh, Oliver. And now. Of, yeah. Looking for the acid bomb, but. Boom! Oh, he got it! He caught him, Oliver! One, two, what this would mean! Unbelievable. Yeah, can you imagine if in your New Japan debut like that, you beat a legend like Desperado? And he is stalking Desperado. The acid bomb got two. Can a pile driver get three? We will not find out just yet. Ooh. Waist lock. It goes high. Great block by Desperado. There was a tag. There was a tag. Bow. And Mao! Now with the drive by it. DDT! Mao going up top, red corner. Look out below! Ooh. Dropping the knee. Rolling through with the cutter, big boot. It's Mao. Oliver, desperation reverses. Shotgun drop kick to the chest. And Mao has eliminated Nick Wayne from the equation as well. Jordan Oliver's all alone here. And now feeling the energy oh. of the crowd here in Philly. Oh. Oh. Oliver had that one scouted. Shut up. Didn't work that time. Fool me once, shame on you. Oh. Wow. Mal giving up his own head to try and stun Oliver. Oliver fighting through it. The takedown, Mal. And Look at this. Wayne Nick. is back up. Wayne is back in the oh. apron. And Nick Wayne. Waistlock on Mao, the prodigy of AEW. Ooh. For that Snapdragon suplex, Mao, not going to let it happen. But whoa, swiped out of the way. Boom. Running shooting star cover. Two. Ooh, what? Oh. What? Gives up too much time. That's right. Cole Nelson. Oh, nice self trap to get out of it. Shit, trying to shimmy out of the waistlock. Playing some mind games here with Nick Wayne. Wow, and the body control of Mao. He is deep in the match. Wayne is clearly exhausted, but turns it around, holding Fisherman the bridge. Fisherman two, and oh. Just in the nick of time. And, and I'll he, tell you what, I have called so many Nick Wayne matches, and when you get deep, deep, deep in it, he's able to pull on something, these reserves, this heart. This is Nick Wayne at his very best. And Wayne has Mao right where he wants him. Out of the way. Mao. Athleticism recovery. Super from kick Mal. after super kick there. Big boot up the ladder. It's Wayne targeting Mao, who's charging in. Whoa! 
Mango's flying. Watch out for Mo. Oh, oh. Wade plants Mao. That snap half Nelson. This one just keeps on going. Wade oh. whirl, but Mao landed into a handspring. Michinoku oh. driver. Absolutely planting the young man Dick Wade. This one has popped off. And the match has reset. Mao trying to make the tag, but it's Wade first. Wade tags Oliver, Desperado's back in. 15 minutes in, deep, deep waters. Swing and a miss, it's Desperado. Hangs on to the headlock, great move. Simple but effective. Good counter work there by Jordan Oliver. Up and over goes Desperado. Desper oh, back suplex. And Oliver landing square on his neck. You can see him just writhing in pain, involuntary movement in that left arm. Could have hit a nerve, could have struck something in the spine. The Desperado, though, clearly not done with Jordan Oliver. Airship off the ropes. Oh. Big boot. Uh-oh, oh. off the ropes. I don't know what he thinks of it. Spine Buster. Stacking Oliver up. Two. Two count. Holds on to the leg. Oh, watch Trench out. Muffler. Locked oh. in. The fingers are locked. Stretch Muffler, the fingers are locked. And wrenching that knee of Oliver. And he's in the center, center of the ring. And Mao is trying to guard this submission. And Oliver, look at him fight. Look gonna at him, make it. Look at him try and persevere. That other leg in the air and gets to the ropes. Well, Desperado had that on for for a good little bit there. It could have been some damage severely down to the back to the knee. And now with Mal back in the ring, look, I'm going to see some more double team offense. Mal and Desperado taking it to Jordan Oliver. Shooting to the corner. Desperado sent in first, and now it's Mal charging up from the blue corner to the neutral corner. It doubled over. Could just be a matter of time here. Step over, spinning heel kick. And looking like David Akers here, preparing for a field goal in Philadelphia. Rolling through. Oh! Rolling thunder. Cover. Two. Ooh. Nick Wayne just in the nick of time. And I think we, are, we, all we are in the 2300 arena, and the power of RVD compels you. His yes. name adorns the wall behind these curtains. And but the now, yeah, Nick connect. Wayne giving it his all. Swing, double oh. super kicks. Oh, Wayne might be calling for the Kiku Killer. And spring, stunner. Into the German. They finish it. Oh! Wayne went over the top rope. Calling an audible there. And it's Oliver. Whoa! Is that it? it? Is that enough? Oh! Two Nick, and nine tenths. Nick Wayne taking out Mao, risking it all, but now they're I, both tossed inside. I thought that was it. I was convinced. Yeah, great move to deviate. They love to get that set up into the Kiku Killer. Got two and nine tenths. This could be a double Kiku Killer. Oh! They got him. Let's hook two. Oh! So very close. What a debut this would be for this young team. I think they're going to. Yeah, they're, they're saying they're going to try it again. And why not? It's gotten him so close thus far. Desperado. Thrust kicks. Killer. Oh, and Mao. Oh, oh. Mao. Mao dumps Wayne. It's Oliver on the inside. Mao. Whoa. Spin a kick. Spear. Spear. Wayne caught by Mao. Around the world. Mao plants the head scissor driver on Wayne. Look at all this offense, and it oh. could be time. Pinche Loco. Yes, indeed, Vena Pinche Loco. Plants Oliver, two, and that's it.
Well, we heard the feedback from fans all around the world who came to Philadelphia here tonight. Who did you buy a ticket to see? Many said the, the splendor of this event, 37 wrestlers from 22 organizations. But many, no, number one with the bullet, so said they came to see Mao. Mao did not disappoint, and neither did the East West Express, Veda. No, I am, I am, like, I'm trying to contain myself here in my seat. I am extremely proud of Nick Wayne and Jordan Oliver. Like I said, personally, two of my favorites. Again, Mao making a huge impression. And what else is there to say about El Desperado? A living legend when it comes to junior heavyweights. East West Express, you know, I'm sure not happy with the loss, but impressive, impressive out of here. See here, called back into the ring by Desperado and Mal, your victors. The debuting East West Express, Nick Wayne, Jordan Oliver extended the hand of respect from their competitors. Nothing beats that inside the squared circle. Take nothing away from these young men. I imagine this is not the last time you'll be seeing them in a New Japan ring. I, I think, Matt, you and I and, and Veda, we all know some folks that I think would be very interested in the services of the East West Express at this point, and, and Mal, for that matter. Desperado, who's been a freelancer as of late, I, I think any organization in the world would be smart to try and run this exact match back. I think any organization in the world has seen the future and the present of professional wrestling after that tag team effort. And I don't say that lightly, as this show of respect continues, absolutely, between these four athletes. It's not often you see such a hard-hitting match. And we got words earlier tonight from our winners, Kevin Knight and Mike Bailey, after their first round victories. Ahead of the finals, we're going to go to those words right now. Hi there. ありがとうございました。ありがとうございました、ありがとうございました、ありがとうございました。いや、もうね、会場の空気を掴むのが抜群にうまい。いや、あのね、オケとしてるだけなんですよ。それで掴んでるって言われ、言ったら俺の立場